Hey everyone, it's Metal Shop Blogs, vlogs, blogs, whatever. Um, I'm going to, uh, I think on this channel my, 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 my name is Mr. Hands. I'm going to change that because it's starting for some reason. I didn't notice it when I typed it in, but now that I see it every once in a while, it, it seems kind of creepy. So look for a change on that. Um, this is just an update on what's coming up. Uh, earlier video I showed some necks being cut. I ended up cutting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight necks um, for the big twin hidden fork stop uh, necks. Um, so upcoming videos, I'm going to show machining these, getting them ready to go into the jig. I have some rear end blocks here for the hidden rear axles. They look rusted. Just ignore that. That's surface rust. Where I had to steal uh, store or where this section was stored, it got damp. And... Um, really fine sandpaper takes that right off um, there's no pitting or anything like that you can see uh, just grab one of them you can see how shiny it is it's just nature working with raw steel got some seat tubes bent um, but for upcoming videos uh, I'll show some video of machining a rear end out machining a neck um, let me go in here, step over this tubing I have here, I have this box with a motor in it. I'm um, going to be showing how to, oh man, the light is bad in here. Uh, oop, on. Okay, I've got, uh, <clears throat> got these cool Modi handlebars that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to set this thing up. These, these cool handlebars that I make. I think they're cool. This one's for an internal stop. Um, I'm going to be making a couple sets of these handlebars, and I'll show you my little jig that I made. You can see it has stops in here. And basically, what I'll go over, since it's sitting right here, I'll show you. I got the um, these bolts, they're the correct thread for uh, just generic Harley style bolt holes. I got this plate, and it's drilled for a couple different applications. And uh, these handlebars are kind of canted a little bit uh, for special applications. So basically, when when I fit them in here, they they fit into the jig, and then this plate goes on in this little circle, and these holes will line up with the bolt holes when it's not canted that way. And then I may, I cut, uh, I take some scrap stock I have, inch and a quarter, 120 wall DOM tubing, and I make this slug for it, these slugs that go into it, and they get threaded, that, that one's not threaded, that one's not threaded, that one's not threaded. Doesn't appear to have had any threads. So I got four there. They need to be cleaned up and threaded. So these bungs get welded in to become permanent. And then they get screwed down to the other side of this plate, which pinches it onto the tubing. Okay, because it's notched. Boom, onto the tubing. And then some washers go on here couple more washers and then you screw this plate down and it holds everything nice and tight and then you can check real quick to make sure there's no gaps in the handlebar and you can clamp the handlebar down to the plate that this is made to and you can weld your handlebars up and they're right every time instead of uh, guessing um, but this jig only works for this handlebar so I'll be showing uh, a set of those being made uh, finishing off another a Springer front end um, you see I got three sets of triple trees and a roughed out springer holder um, and the spring bolts that I made uh, I've threaded the ends these are the spring rods had to make those uh, everything I made from scratch um, even made the rocker bolts from scratch the only thing I didn't buy was the springs uh, I'll have to make another set of these the lower leg bungs um, that still need these need to be rounded off. I have one set. I think I have another set up there. And I might, if I can get back to it, I was building a front end for somebody who just up and disappeared. 
um, that the springs are going to be on the back of the leg. And we used springs out of a V8 motor to accomplish. There's the rear end. Anyway. Um, that'll be an interesting video because uh, there are not too many of those being made. And uh, those are the legs to the front end. That's an oil tank I was working on. Um, oh, and let me go around here. I guess I need to leave the light on. Okay. What I'll do is uh, I'm going to show if, if you want to make um, oil tanks, but you want the ends of your oil tank to be rounded, like, uh, like dished, like these. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine who has a shop, he came up with a way to make this die set with these guides just welded on to keep it square and then you put it in this press and you basically just cut out a bunch of circles, flat circles and you put it inside there and press them into little bowls and that's the end that's the sides of your oil tank which is pretty cool um, I'll show that being done in future videos and what else uh, I, we still haven't started working on this again yet um, just because I have to wait for the guy I work that, that owns the bike to be here because he's doing most of the work I'm not really making any money on this this is pretty much just uh, he's a friend of mine and uh, yeah uh, so as soon as uh, he comes in we'll be doing that and then um, sorry I keep pointing at the floor I don't want all these logos on the walls and stuff to show because um, copyright well not really copyright most of them are sponsors for other stuff but there could be like a complaint that uh, their stuff is being shown oh and another thing I'm going to show let's cover this Let's go here. I uh, will notch some stuff in this and show it notching, how to set it up. This is the Godzilla notcher. It's got uh, from uh, ProTools.com. We're going to hook that thing up. And um, yeah, other than that, um, we'll be finishing up another frame. Um, Show the, show the frame being, you know, when it's finally welded. And some more uh, notching stuff uh, that I have video of. I just haven't edited it together. Uh, this video I'll be able to put up quicker because it's uh, just a one-shot video. So in future videos, I'll, I'll, I'll be showing all that stuff. And if you have any, not, not necessarily suggestions, or, or if you have any requests, uh, like transmission plate, motor mounts, uh, I don't know, um, talking about the jig, talking about, you know, anything you wonder about, uh, post the comments, um, subscribe, uh, like, you know, whatever people do on here, and um, I'll try to uh, hook it up because I repetitively just do this stuff over and over again, so it wouldn't take me that long to get back around to doing what your question is about, possibly. So, um, all right, everyone take care and um, keep having fun.